if you, and when you get to your office, if your home is your office, you've got two options, but three options. Charge nothing, charge the fixed rate, or charge the actual costs. The fixed rate per HMRC is that. So if you work 25 to 50 hours per month in your business, HMRC say that's you can charge 10 pounds to your business. Sorry? Per hour? For the month. Where are you going to get that from? You're right, I don't know. Welcome to the world of tech. Yeah, I know. Even virtual office costs more than that. What about Scotland? In Scotland? No? Even though, she says no, you can't get in Scotland. Is that per business? If it's the same room, uh, then you have a challenge. Yeah. You have a challenge. Yeah, then it's fine. So 10 pounds, okay, if you're working 51 to 100 hours, 18 pounds a month. If you're working more than 100 hours, 26 pounds a month. And you'll probably be surprised or you won't be surprised how many people actually use this. I'm serious. They just go with this and say, oh, it says on the HMRC website that, that these are the expenses I can claim. And their accountant doesn't often bother picking it up. But this is the least preferred method, isn't it, Saf? There's a better method. You remember what it is? Kind of? Claim for the area you're using. Claim for the area you're using, okay. So, what we want to do is, we want to claim for the area we use. So these are all the costs you can claim. So you've got mortgage interest, council tax, water rates, insurance, unless you've got a separate business policy, uh, broadband and phone, gas, electric, repairs, maintenance, cleaning, yeah? And then, then there's a particular calculation that, that you work out based on the size of the room in comparison to the size of the house and you charge that as use of home as office. And it depends how, uh, how, much, uh, how many rooms do you're using up for office purposes. Yeah? If you use up the room solely 100% for business purposes, then you'll have to pay business rates and not council tax. And if you use the business, uh, and furthermore, if that's the case, then you don't get principal private residence relief on that, on that portion of the house. Okay, so Helen, what do you think you could possibly do to make sure you don't use it exclusively for business purposes? You just use everywhere. Oh. Just use everywhere. <laughs> 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 You can buy a posh shed, shed and use office in the garden, but then you can only claim for that. Uh, that bit, but that would still reflect the capital gains if you sold it up. Yeah, with the yeah. garden thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what else do you think you can do apart from <laughs> what Helen said, which is use every single part of the room? <laughs> Were you talking about use of home as office, by the way? Sorry? Were you talking about use of home as the office, as in use every single part of the house? Yeah, yeah there's no, I wouldn't have a dedicated place. Okay. You, 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 you wouldn't do it in one place, you're saying? Yeah. You'd move around the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got it. So that's a bit of advice for you, uh, guys and girls, is don't stick to one room, move around the house. All right? Office. Sorry? Office. Sorry? I'm Pardon? I'm not giving the advice as a professional. I'm just saying that's what, that's what I would do. That's what you would do. Yes. So, so you mean you wouldn't charge for that advice, but you're giving it free to everybody here. <laughs> what they really want to know is which room is the best to use. <laughs> you're the expert. Kitchen, says Lucy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you think the kitchen would be a good place to start? I don't know. It, but what I've done in the past, to be honest. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think, Helen, we should go any further than this. <laughs> I don't think but thank you for <laughs> your transparency. I think Saf wants you to go further, but I think I should do it. It's probably best to use one particular room than use using all the house. But if you can prove there's some personal use in the house, uh, uh, in that room, that will help. Some commentators will say that's not enough. Others will say yes. I think you should go uh, a step further. 
uh, and have a non-exclusive license, which, may, which basically says uh, is an agreement between you uh, and your business, saying this room cannot be used exclu exclusively for business purposes, and then use that room personally for your own self. So you can have a, ha have a TV in there, okay? Uh, when your friends come around, you can sit there, uh, have a drink, tea, coffee, wine, whatever you want to do. Okay? So use it pers for personal purposes as well, so that it's not 100% business use, so you don't have to pay council tax, uh, business rates, and you don't lose your principal private residence relief. The non-exclusive license agreement will go some way in, in helping you do that. Is that not what I've just said before? No, 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 no. You, said <laughs> you said quite a bit. I mean, you got Lucy going. All right. So, Kalpana. So, what you're saying is that you can charge for the whole room if you have those two things in place. No, I'm saying charge for the whole room, but have a non-exclusive license agreement in place which says this room is not used exclusively for business purposes. Right. Okay, I, as the homeowner, have the right to use it personally as well. Okay. So your business uses it but you use it personally as and well. HMRC will accept that and you can write off well, If you've got a non-exclusive license agreement and that's a fact and that happens, yeah. they haven't got a choice, have they? Cool. What's that? It's you, you produce it between you and your company, your business. But do we consult that? An accountant or Yeah, yeah, an accountant can do it for you. <laughs> non-exclusive license agreement. We'll come to the question in the end, depending on how, how we get on. Okay? So you just say, how much can you then claim? No, no, you, no, you claim the whole thing. Okay, so basically, you work out all these costs here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say these figures come to 20,000 pounds, yeah? You then say 15% of your home okay is being used for business purposes so you charge 15 percent of this which is three thousand pounds a year yeah? that's okay divided by 12 gives you uh, 250 pounds per month yeah that's income coming to you yeah, from your company you then declare that on your personal tax return and say i've received three thousand pounds income per year okay then you say well i've incurred three thousand pounds worth of expenditure that's all the expenditure so one writes off the other yeah Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Cool.